Welcome back. In this tutorial, we're going to explore all of the options available under the cutout button of Photoshop Mix. As you can see, I've already imported two layers. Uh, foreground layer is the one we'll be working on. That is the circle. I'm going to tap on the cutout button at the bottom of the screen. And it goes straight to the basic brush at the bottom. And that's the one I'll focus on uh, as a start. I'll cover auto and smart in a separate tutorial. So with basic, when I first select it, you'll notice on the left hand side, I've got brush, eraser, size and hardness. Uh, let's switch to eraser. And remember, I'm on the top layer, I just swiped once with my finger. And you can see that it gives us a cutout from the top layer, which is the blue circle, to reveal what's underneath. Now, let me tap that button again, go to the brush for plus, and I can add back in. So this is adding back to our shape. Let me un... Actually, let me go back to that. Now, what I'd like to look at, we looked at the brush, we looked at the eraser, the size button. If I tap and hold on that, I can move my finger up and down and change the thickness of the brush. So here I am at the smallest at 1.5. And there's the cut that I get. Let me tap that again. Size button, tap and hold. We'll go all the way up to 100. And it pretty much wipes out most of my circle. Let me undo here. All right. Last setting to explore under the basic button is the hardness button. Right now, I've got it set to 50. Let me bring the size down to something more manageable. That's what a hardness of 50 looks like. We'll do it like that. There's 50. Let's hold down the hardness button again, drag all the way to the bottom to zero. That is a hardness of zero. You can see we're getting a much more feather or softer edge to our brush. Hardness again, we're going to go all the way up to 100. Here goes 100. And you'll notice the difference is that 100 gives us a nice clean edge, no feathering whatsoever. And you have anything in between you can choose in that range of zero, which is super fuzzy and feathery to 100, which is a very clean cut. All right, I'm going to undo to bring our circle back. Next up, we go to the lasso tool. So I'm going to start with subtract, and I'm going to take the lasso tool just using my finger. I will lasso out a chunk, lasso out another chunk. You can see as soon as you let go, it makes that shape that you just lassoed. So you can do that starting from an edge. You can do it in the middle. It doesn't matter. If I go to add, that's going to lasso back in some of what was removed. And the last option is intersect. Check this out. That only keeps the parts of the two layers that are intersecting each other within that shape that I lassoed out. And I'll do some undoing here to get us back to normal. Now, next over, going on the, to the right on the bottom menu, is the shape tool. And with the shape tool, you get four choices, square, circle, triangle, or rounded corner square. And I'll just start with one. They all essentially work the same way. I will switch to the subtract option. Tap and hold. Nothing happens yet. Nothing will until I tap the screen again. And then it does a cutout for me. Let me undo and show you the way that this is really useful when you're trying to fine tune an edge. So I am going to pinch and zoom in so I can see the area where the two are overlapping at the top edge of the square. I'm going to go to my shape, got that square, 
and I'm going to drag, and I'll make this a little bit bigger. Okay, so now I'm just using my finger to adjust where I want this to go, and then when I tap, see how it gave me a nice clean cut? That's the beauty of the shape tool using the, the square shape is that you don't have to try and draw a really clean straight edge with a lasso. You can use the shape tool to do that. Let me undo that again. Um, we're still on subtract. And when you draw a shape out like that, you can also rotate it and stretch it and get that kind of effect as well. So I mentioned there are other shapes, circle, triangle, rounded edge, box, very handy. I'll go back to the add option. And just like we've seen before, you can add in that way. Uh, the intersect is just going to keep the areas where there's overlap. That is the shape button. Let me do a little undoing here. Okay, and a redo right there. Pinch to zoom out a bit. And I'm going to go back to the basic. Where are my hardness ones? I'll put that at like a 50. Just do a quick swipe through there. Now I'm off to the last button over here all the way on the right. The refine button. So check this out. After the fact, I can feather those edges more. I can't make them cleaner, like if I'd started off with a hardness of 100, but I can certainly make them blurrier. This is really helpful after you've selected an image just to do some quick cleanup on edges. Uh, if I go to the edges option, you're not going to see a lot of difference between my circle and square here, but in a later tutorial, I'll show you how this can be applied to two different images. And then invert is just flipping the selection, which if you've used desktop Photoshop, you can imagine the value in this when you select something and you want to get everything else around it, for example. You could just hit that invert and then select from there. So that covers the features of the cutout button in Photoshop Mix. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.